storm clouds are gathering. First, let's talk about two direct buffs to Storm, which are actually not direct buffs, it's more like direct insults, as they change virtually nothing that matters. Electric Vortex is not a spell Storm spams off cooldown during the laning phase, it's often situational to even learn the spell, not to mention that it requires Storm to walk up close, which is also not something Storm does often during laning. In most mid matchups, this change will end up saving Storm 25 to 50 mana during the entire laning phase. And the talent change, it's even more nuanced. Not every attack is going to be overloaded, especially not in the mid to late game, so I'd even argue that the talent is worse than before. Which doesn't matter, because nothing was done to improve mana regeneration, and Storm still needs to have plus 3 regeneration taken. With that out of the way, we can talk about indirect buffs to Storm, and this time they matter. The gameplay and item changes are mostly there to slow down the pace of the game, which is something Storm prefers, as he's weakest during the mid game, when most games start to close out. Common heroes that tend to close out the games early also got slight nerfs, so we should be seeing less of those, which again is something Storm prefers. And lastly, let's talk about what matters the most, the threats change. The returning attack speed means that Storm no longer lacks offense, unless rushing Orchid or Midas, it gives less stats now, sure, but Null Null Threat Storm deals comparatively about the same DPS as 720's Rift Bandit Threats, which was second highest DPS on the list. And this was before the current nerfs to the stat items. And what this means in our Storm games is that the ideal item build no longer forces the user to seek out attack speed early and can have much more variety. As a general build, I would recommend going Threats, then Kaya plus Yules or Yules plus Kaya, then Bloodstone. This provides the needed mana efficiency to fight around the mid game, and Yules acts as a mini Lincoln in situations where you would need a save or can be used offensively as a disable. If Storm won the lane, but other lanes true, and there is no clear 5 manning yet, Midas is still good to ensure Storm snowballs all the way to the late. If Storm's team won most or all of the lanes, Orchid is great to maintain pressure around the map. And if Storm and the team is playing from behind, some combination of Kaya, Yule's BKB would allow Storm to pick off key targets during skirmishes, then retreat. So in conclusion, early game lasts longer, mid game lasts longer, item builds are more flexible, and Storm now functions slightly better than before. I managed to maintain a healthy 50% win rate throughout the 720, and I'll keep you informed how it will look now. Thank you for watching, good luck.